Hello YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to give an update because there has been questions about my hair. Like, has it been lasting a while? Do I still like it? And I'm just here to give you guys an update on this protective hairstyle that I did on my starter locks. So as you can see, I did cut the hair because I started getting bored with it last week. I wanted to take it out, but I didn't want to take it out before I got a retwist. I was supposed to get a retwist Tuesday. I was going to skip class, but it was like, I don't know. I probably still could have skipped class, but I feel like it was good that I did skip class to get my hair done because they were having a class on um, dosage calculations and I needed to be in there for that although it's not a great percentage of the exam it's going to probably be a small percentage of the exam but still I want to be in there for that for any questions that I had and I had questions so um, I don't know when I'm going to get my retwist done and honestly I believe like any time after graduation would be good. Graduation is coming up in three weeks. I'm so excited and I'm so ready to get it done. Um, we have to take our exam in less than three weeks. And let's just say I believe I'm going to pass um, because we have the practice material that we have on the NHA website. We have the study material. So, um, we do, we have like five practice tests that we have to take. And you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm talking about school and I'm talking about my hair in this video. Quick video. So, um, we have our baseline practice exam to see where we are. And I did a decent grade. I did a decent grade, but I feel like it could have been better. So, um... I'm supposed to be taking a practice exam today at home. Actually, we need to do two this week, two next week, and one a few days before the exam to see if I'm where I want to be and where I need to be. So, um, that's really good because I know I have confidence that I will pass the CCMA. So, um, and I'm not going to say anything else about that. It's in God's hands. It's in God's hands. Do you guys know how many times I wanted to quit? It's so much has been going on since I've been in class, you guys. My mom passed away. And I wanted to, like, before she passed away, I wanted to, like, quit. But she did not want me to quit. I wanted to stop so I could be there for her. And she told me she don't want me to stop. She want me to stay in school and make something out of myself. Basically, that's what she said. She don't want me to stop. So I stayed. And it was rough, like, after she passed away, like, I, I was, like, I wasn't, in, I was just in class, but I really wasn't in class, like, I, I'm still going through it, y'all, like, I can be talking about my mama just normal, like, in a normal tone, and then I'll probably start bust out crying about it, so it's, all a press process and I never had to deal with grief like this before so it's a process and I just know there's nobody on earth like my mom there's no she's the one and only person that's really and truly been there for me like really Really, I'm glad that God blessed me with a mom like her. So, yes. And then, like, frustrations. And it's, it's 
internal and external issues the reason why I wanted to get out but I had to think about my mom and I had to think about my family like what did I get in this program for in the beginning so I've been trying to do my best that I can do regardless of how I feel like we started the course late and so everything was very done very quickly not that I'm not understanding what we have tests on in the class I, I understand it but do I remember it is the thing so it's just a matter of remembering remembering and obtaining information for me because it's like January, February, March, April we only been in the book for four months. So that was the thing. Before I, we got the study material, that was the thing that I was stressed out about. And it kind of had me to where, like, I probably should just quit because I don't know how I'm going to do on this exam. But thank God for the study material from the NHA website. And I'm believing that I am going to pass. I, my stress is not there anymore because of that and um you know and regardless i'll still get a certificate and i'm praying i don't have to retake that test because that test is 160 dollars okay so sorry about that whole spiel but um I want to get my hair done before graduation, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that because I'm going to be so busy, maybe, but I'll try to see what I can do before graduation. Like, I don't know if I want to wear my locks or if I want, I would like to do a lace front wig with some long hair, long, wavy human hair. That would be nice. But update about this hair after 7 minutes and 30 seconds. This hair, like, it was cute in the very, in the very beginning. But after I got bored with it, like, after a week, I believe it's been after a week, I got bored with it. And so I cut it into a bob. And it was cute. I was like, okay, I can wear this. But as the time is going on... You know, it's getting frizzy, and I've been taking twists down and putting them back up, so some parts might look uneven. They're pretty much all the length that they need to be, but um, I have been taking a few twists down and putting them back in my head, but um, you can tell that not only the hair itself is kind of frizzy and got like pieces of hair I can twirl around my fingers like that I don't like that if I can do this and you see like the frizzies on the hair I don't like that no 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 so um and it's also like frizzy at the roots here it's not too bad but it's it's not as fresh as it used to be and I'm looking for that freshness but um this is a great protective hairstyle if you want to just cover up your dreads for like two weeks. Nothing longer than that because I'm going to take these out. I might just untwist them and see how I like them to see if I could go another week so that I can like see what I'm going to do. Because really and truly when I take my hair down, I don't want to be looking crazy because my retwist doesn't last that long and that's why I was trying to get my hair retwisted again after I take my hair down. So I'm gonna just untwist these and see what they look like. Okay, you guys, so I took it down a little bit and I wanna say I like it kinda sorta. I just need to shape it up a little bit and fluff it out. But on camera, it looked crazy. So, might take it down, yeah, because my roots don't look too good, but, um, 
I don't know. I'll play with it and see because I don't have all the twists untwisted so that I can trim it up a little bit. But it might be coming down all the way. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.